hey guys, I created all of these Ghibli style animations using AI. What are you? An idiot sandwich. An idiot sandwich, An idiot sandwich Chef Ramsay. Don't tell us what we're gonna feel. We're trying to solve a problem. <laughs> Ever since the new ChatGPT update got released, I'm seeing tons of different Ghibli Studio style images on my feed. But did you actually know that you can also animate them and turn them into a video? So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that using Kling AI. With this tool, you can add lip sync. Hey guys, I created all of these Ghibli style animations using AI. You can add movement. And you can even add sound effects. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you. If you want to follow along, click the link in the description down below and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to head over to ChatGPT. Then you need to import your image. So I have my image right here. And then what you want to do is you want to copy this prompt. You could also transform this into Ghibli style image. But in my opinion, I got a few errors with that. So I actually found this in that prompt and this one works a lot better. You can copy that prompt by clicking the link in the description below and then you can just put this all into ChatGPT. So that is exactly what I did. I put everything in there and then I get an image like this. Then you can download this. Before this video, I already made this image and I quite like this one. So I'm using this from ChatGPT download the image and then you can use it inside Kling. I did the exact same process with this image right here and it generated this image and this image once I tried it again. And now I'm gonna use this inside Kling AI. So inside Kling AI, you can find the link for this in the description down below. You go to video and then here you can upload your images. Within Kling AI, there are a bunch of different things you can do. We will start off easy by just giving it a prompt without any other frames besides my starting frame. So here I'm gonna enter a prompt, which will be a guy quickly waves hi for only one second at the camera and then he talks. Now within the negative prompt, this is optional, I like to add in a few things here. So I'm gonna do motion blur, morphing, distortion, flickering, and a few other things. This just helps me to avoid these things because sometimes AI can have a few mistakes in there. All of the other things, I'm gonna keep it exactly the same and then you hit generate. After waiting for a few minutes, I generated this video right here. And this one already looks quite good, but we can make it even more interesting by adding in some more elements into our image. Later on, I will show you exactly how you can lip sync this. But now first, let's add in a few elements. So now we switch over from frames to elements and I got this image of sunglasses and I got a parrot all in Ghibli style. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag them in there. And then I'm gonna drag in the parrot. Then you want to change the prompt to anything that resonates with what you want to show. So I have a guy wearing sunglasses sitting and waving at the camera. The parrot is in the background. Then we also add in the negative prompt right here and then we hit generate. Now we got this video right here and this got all the elements that we added in there. So we have the sunglasses, you have me talking and waving. And then if the camera zooms out, you actually see the parrot right here. So all of these elements combined can make for some pretty cool videos. If you want to have more control over the outcome of your video, you might want to use this next feature because this is the start and the ending frame of my scene. So I got this image right here, a standoff between two samurai. And then at the second frame, they are battling each other. So what I'm going to do here is I can prompt it. So I'm going to say two, the two men fight in an intense battle, ensure the sun stays in place. This is just some instructions to it. And then what this will do is we will combine these two frames into one video. And if you hit generate, then you will get a video like this. This might take you a few tries, so you might want to regenerate it a few times or change the prompt slightly. The last thing you need to do to make your video complete is to add in lip sync and some sound effects. So what you want to do is once your video has been generated and you like to use that video, you click on this button right here, which is lip sync. Then what you can do here is you can either use their own voices by Kling 
or you can upload your local dubbing. So I prepared a saying right here, which is me doing the intro. Then you upload that right there. And then you need to select the time frame. So make sure this video is like five seconds. Make sure your audio is maximum of five seconds. Same goes for if your audio is longer, you might want to extend your video. But in this case, my audio is like four seconds. So this just works. Then you click on generate. This will cost you like five credits. And then you get a video like this. Hey guys, I created all of these Ghibli style animations using AI. If you want to add in audio, then this works pretty much the same. You go over to AI sound. Then you type in your prompt. And for me, that will be a, a parrot chirping in the background. Keep in mind with this, I cannot do it on the same lip synced video. So what you want to do is you first want to generate the audio sound effects. Then you click on generate. And now you will have four different options. After waiting for a bit, you get these four options. So this is the first option. This is the second option. So yeah, this is the fourth one. So you can choose whichever one you like the most and resonates most with your video. This might not have been the perfect video to show you, but this is essentially how it works. You can do a lot of fun things with this, like generating some memes, for example. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? Don't tell us what we're gonna feel. We're trying to solve a problem. <laughs> So I'm very curious to see what you guys create. Keep in mind, you don't have to do this with the Ghibli style images. You can also do this with any other type of image. If you want to try this out yourself and you want to try out Kling, then click the link in the description down below. And if you want to learn more about the Kling 1.6 elements feature, then click the video that's on the screen right now. And I will explain in depth to you how this all works.